everyone. It's me again. Now, in some parts of India, they provide resting places along the road for those who carry heavy loads on their heads. Such a resting place is called a Summa Tanga. These lay have a shelf where the traveller can easily drop his or her burden. Referring to one of these, a native Christian said, Christ is my Summa Tanga. Now, he was precisely that for the Samaritan woman. She seemed weighed down with more than just buckets of water, didn't she? Coming to draw water alone, and not with the other women, at the hottest point of the day, rather than in the early morning, as was the custom, suggests a certain alienation from people in our present life situation, a certain estrangement from our local community. She also comes across as being ill at ease with herself. Having five husbands, of course, wouldn't have helped, now would it? We hear of people these days who go from one relationship to another, but they're chasing after the wind, and their lives are often dogged by addictions of one kind or another. But Lent is not the time for pointing the finger at anyone, but facing up to our own lack of peace. The woman tries a diversionary tactic by dragging disputed questions of race or religion into the conversation. They say that we should never argue over religion or politics. She was a woman that tried that game and also maybe using the race card. But Jesus gently turns the spotlight back on her. Have we ever tried to change the subject when we cannot face what we've done or dressed it up as something else? Jesus tells the woman that he and only he will be able to quench her thirst for inner peace both here and in the hereafter. Jesus revealed the woman to herself. He told me all I'd ever done, she said. Now Pope John Paul II, St. John Paul II once said that in prayer God reveals a person to themselves. Self-revelation is no bad thing for us either, especially if we, like the woman, have been searching for fulfilment in the wrong places. Just like this lady of Samaria, it's comforting to know that Jesus knows everything we have ever done, good or bad, in our lives as well. He accepts us as he finds us, the bad bits as well as the good, but he doesn't want to leave us as he found us, especially if, like the woman, we are in need of forgiveness and healing. If we keep coming to the well of life, which is Jesus, whether it be in private prayer or confession or mass or the sacraments, we realise that our burdens too are being lifted. The Gospel tells us that having taken his words to heart, the woman puts down her water jar by the well, returns to the village and can't wait to tell the people of her life-changing meeting with Jesus. The isolation she felt in coming to the will on her own is now gone. She can face the people with confidence again and stand up for herself. There's a spring in her step. She eagerly sh shares the good news with her fellow villagers. Dumping the heavy water jars by the well symbolises being set free from what was weighing her down. Is there anything which we need to set, be set free from which is weighing us down? So, this Lent, let Christ be our Samatanga, our resting place, where whatever is dragging us down can be lifted. <coughs> and like the Samaritan woman, our lives can be redeemed and made whole again. Thank you for listening. God bless you all. Oh.